Hey guys, Dan here, and as you can see, I finally got my second level 200, and before I get started, I would like to say thank you to Bam Evolution, Barlog's Claw, and Risky Richie for the smegas. That's three more smegas than my hero ever got for getting level 200, so thank you for the smegas, guys. So, I guess I'll start this off by saying it felt like my very last day of high school when I graduated. You know, you could come back visit, visit school, you could play the buck, but school and the buccaneer, they're both pretty much done, nothing I could really do, but uh, yeah, the one thing that didn't come with this was a what I want to do with, or my goals in life sheet, and in school I wrote down for one of my goals in life to get level 200 on Maple Story. my teacher tried making me change it, but as you can see right now I got two level 200s and I overachieved on it. And uh, yeah, system can't control me. Take that Westgate. Achieve my goal twice. And you said I couldn't. So now I'm going to talk about a little how I started my buck and how I leveled up and everything. It started when I can't. I I made the Buccaneer. It's an Ultimate Explorer. I had Shark Wave and I just left it at level 100 and stuff, but. I thought it was finally time to level it, so I got from about level 100 to 112 in like one day, and then a rollback happened, and I was back down to level 100. I still had my 94 attack white fangs I made. That was considered good. Like back then, that was before Empress. Empress equips came out. But, yeah. And I was pissed about the rollback, but then, uh... Then we got like 6x experience and drop, so I thought, you know what, this is probably actually going to benefit me better, so what I did was I got like one level out of that, like that whole week of 6x, one level on my hero, and then I basically just played my Buccaneer for the rest. I, uh, I basically got to like level 120 way quicker. And then as soon as I was level 120, I did the Papulatus pre-quest, and I did Pap on 6x experience, which was extremely good good experience. And then I did some Lionheart Castle, and I ended up getting to about level 159, doing both those on 6x before I quit for a while. And then basically after 6x was over, I just stopped playing my Buccaneer, and I went back to my hero, which... Uh, down down the road to like April 31st, I finally got it to level 200. I quit my hero actually at level 198 for like a month, but I came back, got my level 200. But yeah, and then I, uh, sometime in May, I just quit because the Maple 7th anniversary was just huge disappointment. Just biggest piece of crap Maple anniversary I ever played. So yeah, I basically quit. I was having more fun with skateboarding and everything, and didn't really like playing Maple Story anymore. But then finally in September I hurt myself on the nines there and I got like so bored of sitting around the house so I re downloaded Maple Story. And when I came back it still wasn't the pirate revamp yet, so I still had like time to kill some stuff with super transformation and demolition and barrage and the uh one line of attack dragon strike. So I basically just I went to uh, Future Reeve and I was just doing that picnic quest over and over and gaining clean slate after clean slate just to finish my dragon knuckle, which I will show my equips at the end of this video. But yeah, and I would get one percent and a clean slate after finishing the whole, like the whole picnic quest and stuff. And there was like another quest to get one percent, so I did that pretty much up to level 167 or 169. And then that's when I thought I was ready to stronghold, and yeah, I was in like three days, I got from level 167 already, like, up to 170 something, and then like another day after that, I was up at level 183, and like, we had, a uh, in November, the five days of 4x experience, and I did about three or four days out of that straight, like, didn't even get out of my chair like my eyes were burning but I didn't care and that eventually got me up to level 189 and then I did one more 2x event on the weekend 
and I was uh, 191. And then at the end of November, I got 193, and then I just completely lost interest in my Buccaneer. I got, like, I just did Monster Park and, like, the odd boss or whatever, and I got the odd, like, experience from all that stuff, and right up until, like, from November to February, I went from 193 to 196, which, you know, if I never quit, and if I just would have kept playing in November, or before November, if I never quit, I guess, I could have got this Buccaneer, like, level 200 in, like, a few months, but whatever glad i took my time i mean maple like some sometimes i forget sometimes other people forget this game and all video games were just designed for fun but uh you know i still take that pretty seriously like this game pretty serious you know like when i see really stupid posts on facebook i comment why so serious and like i just put like i comment videos of the joker from the dark knight and, uh, yeah, I guess people could actually do that to me on MapleStory, because I get, like, even in the free market, I get pretty pissed. But anyways, back on topic, I, uh, I heard this level 250 was coming out, and I figured I might as well get one more level 200 before that comes out. Just to say I got two level 200s before this, like, revamp or whatever, cap revamp. And, yeah, so I succeeded. It only took, like, a week thanks to Red Leaf High and Hall of Honor and all the 2X events. I'm probably never going to play this Buccaneer again. I am going to keep the equips for the Knight of Cygnus revamp. I just made a Nightwalker, which is a video you guys will see next week. But uh, I will be making a Thunderbreaker one day. Uh, I don't know how what the highest level I'll play it to because... What I'm playing next is my Mihail or Mihail or whatever it's called. You guys know what class I'm talking about. But yeah, that comes next. And I'd be lucky if I could get that 200 before this whole revamp crap. You know, I'm actually getting pretty sick of all these updates on MapleStory. They should just leave the game alone. But yeah, Mihail's next. And I will be making a Thunderbreaker someday. Which reminds me... uh. The reason why I chose to get level 200 at Skelly's is because before Big Bang, that's where, as a fourth job hero, that's where we went to level there in Oblivion. So, yeah, that's why I chose Skelly's. Of course, the old I like the old Skelly's better because they drop like they drop better stuff like Neos tops, and I think they drop some kind of pirate equip or something I wanted, and like. Spartus, like they basically just draw pirate and warrior equips, which is pretty much my whole account pirates and warriors. But yeah, so that's the whole reason why I chose Skelly's just to f get that feel back of the old Maple Story. And uh, what really reminded me of the old Maple Story, like pre big, pre Big Bang Maple Story, the most was I haven't worked in two years and I'm I walked back down to my old job that I used to have to ask for like a part-time job one day a week and I spoke to the manager and stuff and that was bait like last time I had a job I worked like 12 like 12 hours a day like a few days a week and I basically had like no time for anything because my friends that I skateboarded with they uh they always had work or school and then I always had work when they could go out and do stuff. So I basically, all I did with my life was work and play Maple Story, And it just brought back all these memories of like pre-Big Bang and stuff. But uh, yeah, I really miss pre-Big Bang. You know, if you're on my buddy list, you could probably tell by now. I even miss all the old, like even though I made my Buccaneer after Big Bang, I still, I still miss the Super Transformation and Demolition and Barrage. Uh, I'm not really even a fan of Nautilus Strike. I think that's like a piece of crap skill, but yeah, nothing I could do from complaining though because they will never change the game back. But one thing I was thinking though, in P like I always thought about this too, in uh, player versus player mode, n like since they ruined it to hell, what they should do is put a, uh, they should put Bigfoot in there and like have like 
warrior versus warrior only or like thief versus thief or pirate versus pirate you know and like just have like bigfoot battles and have it like max up to four people in one room so like say like there's four players and if you got the most experience then you get four gallons plus the most experience and then uh say if you're really lucky maybe a gallant will drop and the person that wins gets to pick that up and like third place gets or uh second place gets three gallons and then third place gets two and even like all the time like last place you get like one gallon and then like say like it's only one versus one then it'd be like winner gets two and loser gets one and then say if it was like three and you know just do the math yourself there and i was thinking like nexon could do that for player versus player it'd probably bring some like uh maplers back i guess you could call them i'm just gonna say it would bring some people back to come and play maple story actually but yeah i think people would actually come back to just to like battle bigfoot and stuff and it would be better experience i was also thinking making it like Making it when the level cap revamp comes out, make it a level 200 and le or level 200 plus like party quest or PVP or whatever they want to do with it. But uh, like I've already sent a ticket mentioning this before, but I don't think they're even gonna do that. They're just gonna keep screwing up the game, you know, taking out the fun stuff like even Annie. I miss doing Annie, even though that was after Big Bang. They took that out. I sometimes got club for attack like 60% and like advanced equip enhancement scrolls and advanced potential scrolls from the box but they have to just take out everything good from the game. But this isn't a video about Big Bang, this is a video about my level 200 buccaneer and uh, I would like to thank everybody who came, even the people I don't even know if they even watch this, that came to my level 200. Uh, thanks again for the smegas. Uh, thanks for all the grats. As you can see, my no one from the guild I'm in here even came to watch me, but I know you would have, Henry. So thanks in advancement, Henry. I know you're going to grats me whenever you come back from quitting. And I would like to thank all the people that said grats or congratulations later on when I logged on my hero later. And I guess I'll thank Sapta Zapta. I don't really know her, but I saw she was the only person that wished me gr congratulations so thanks and thanks for watching this video if you watch this whole thing and here are my equips and at the end of the equips just picture me saying thank you guys for watching